Since 2016, when we acquired her, Ryan and I have been sailing Polar Seal. Our Beneteau Ocean is 40 from 2007. In the last few years, she has taken us on bigger adventures than we could ever imagine. From Stockholm in Sweden, all the way down and across the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic Ocean three times into the Caribbean, for us to land here, in Annapolis, Maryland. As we were sailing in Nova Scotia this summer, we decided that 2023 would mark our last season on this version of Polar Seal. And while we are spending the winter here in Maryland, moves are finally being made, and we have something to tell you. What you doing, Ryan? The fun stuff of boating. So we're leaving the boat in the water this year, so we don't have to take the sails down because we'd like to keep sailing it. So I'm really just like emptying the freshwater tanks, anything that has like fresh water in it, I'm trying to get out and then put antifreeze in. So right now I'm just gonna vacuum out the little bit that's left in this tank and then just clean up a little bit. And yeah, Barnacle's sad, it's the end of the season. Are you sad, Barnacle? But we're gonna go sailing this winter, I promise you. Okay, Ryan, you ready? Yeah. Is your mic working? I don't know. Yeah, I think it, it's working. Yeah. Are you ready, Barnacle? Is your microphone working? Ryan, this is a big moment. Absolutely is. So before we start, we just wanna make it clear that Polar Steel is not for sale. No. And the reason why is because until we know exactly when we're getting boat number two, we don't wanna be boatless. And you're still working a lot. Yeah. So this winter, one of the thoughts that we had was to maybe sail south to Puerto Rico, but you're all just working too much. It's, it's not yeah, working. It won't work. But with that said, we've got some news. And I know that in a previous video, I had said that I was never going to build a boat and that we were not going to do that. I think she's getting the hang of this. And I think we're going to have to start hiring her more. Uh, build a catamaran, they said, it'll be fun. But we maybe uh, did something yeah. and changed our minds. Yeah. Until a couple of weeks ago, I had never even put together an IKEA bookshelf uh, in, in my life. So this is going to be a pretty big step for us. And it's also a little bit uh, scary because, you know, when you have been creating videos about sailing for a long time, the transition between you know, creating sailing content to creating videos about a boat build, people get a bit scared because it takes a really long time. But I'm really excited to say that our boat will be ready in how long, Ryan? Like, we hope about eight weeks. Eight weeks, <laughs> which is, like, it's really fast. Because we've, we've got it all mapped out. Yeah. We think that just between the two of us and the tools that we have that like we're going to be able to pound through this yeah i yeah. think so too i, I, think, I think we're so. just going to rock this we have the right tools the right space like the right skills everything it's all there we just got it's like ikea we just got to throw it together oh well, now that you say that okay there is a little bit of a caveat though oh yeah <laughs> there's that we are not building polar seal number two no we're building, well, we don't have a name for it yet. We don't have a name. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. Back in the spring, Ryan and I pushed the door of a little shop here in Annapolis called Chesapeake Lightcraft. And if you don't know Chesapeake Lightcraft, it's the IKEA of small wooden boats. So essentially they have like a dozens and dozens of uh, boat plants and boat kits that you can purchase from their website and you receive all of the parts, all of the material and you build it yourself. So we ended up at Chesapeake Lightcraft because our friends Billy and Sierra had built their at rigor there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ryan was like, oh wow, look, it's Chesapeake Lightcraft. Maybe we should just stop by and have a look. And I had no idea what it was, uh, but we entered the shop and it's really, really cool. The boats are beautiful and we grabbed the catalog. And I was browsing the catalog that night and towards the end of the catalog, there is this gorgeous little wooden motorboat. And I told Ryan, we are building this. <laughs> but at the time I really wanted to build the Lake Union Swift, which I've actually sailed on in Lake Union at the Center for Wooden Boats in Seattle, if you've ever been there. So I really wanted to build that, but I don't think it took very long for you to convince me that like yeah. this boat, it's like a classic runabout, 
James Bond looking boat. And so we were like, we have to do this. But there's a twist to it because we are going to make it electric. You are working the electrification part uh, of the boat and we're working together with Chesapeake Lightcraft to slightly modify the design to make that boat electric. electric. This summer, we, we had planned that this winter we were going to build that boat. We were keeping our options open, but I really wanted to do it. Initially, I was thinking that we would just buy the kit but then we met the guys at Chesapeake Lightcraft and we talked about it. And so in full transparency, they are providing us with the kit. So those videos will be sponsored by Chesapeake Lightcraft, which is awesome. But we're really excited because they're also providing us a space and some expertise because Sophie and I are pretty much on the same level when it comes to putting together a wooden boat. So we are very excited about it, super excited. I haven't been this excited about a project in a long time, and I think they're really excited about it yep. as well. So obviously this is not going to be polish cell number two, but it's not like we're not making progress on that front either. That's right. And that's why you are working a lot. That is why we are here in Annapolis this winter and not sailing. It's because if we want to get like a really nice boat, which will allow us to take the next step, which is for us to uh, sail to Greenland, sail to Patagonia, sail maybe to Svalbard, I want to sail to Japan. We need to close the gap between the budget of Polar Seal, how much it costs in uh, acquisition and uh, ownership, and uh, the boat that would allow us to do what we want to do. And so that's what you're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can't really talk much about it, but fingers crossed. We can't talk about how we're closing the gap, yeah. nor can we really talk much yet about an idea that we have for Polar Shield number That's two. That's right. We have two things in the fire. So yeah, we can't tell you much about that, but what I can tell you for sure is that boat number two is not gonna come from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. Uh, another, another little update. We are super excited to start building our little boat. There's going to be a few more updates coming about that project. And uh, in the meantime, well, I mean, well, we'll catch you soon in a new video. Bye. Bye. Are you stealing the show? Are you stealing the show now? Oh, yeah. Okay, how about we go back? All right. <laughs>